A new Incognito series program arrived today, and throughout the reward path, you're going to be able to obtain 12 unsellable set 2 diamonds, 10,500 experience, 10 standard packs, one alter ego pack in which you have to choose one of the three packs to go ahead and obtain, and then last but not least, 3,500 stubs. The Tops Now program that also came out today includes nine unsellable set two diamonds, as well as 3,000 XP, 1,000 stubs, and one balling is a habit pack. Step number one to completing either of these programs is going to be to knock out the moments. Inside of the Tops Now, these moments are going to give you 14 program points. At 14 program points, you're gonna be at 74 stars inside of the program, which will unlock six diamonds instantly. Inside of the Incognito program, you are going to get a total of 24 program points for completing all of these moments that is going to lead you up to farm dog and that will be four diamonds that you would just unlock those diamonds we're gonna need to do parallel xp missions for the tops now and the incognito one so we're gonna update our squad and plug in all 10 new diamonds inside of it do me a solid and hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell and check out the description we're aiming for 30,000 subscribers before the start of june in general whenever you are completing moments of any kind if you go to the moments tab inside of the home screen of diamond dynasty you are able to do it from that home screen and not be kicked out to the main screen of diamond dynasty each and every single time they have both the incognito series moments as well as the tops now moments step number three is going to be the showdown for the incognito series by completing this showdown you will be able to obtain 15 program points with those 15 program points you are now going to be sitting at 39 which will unlock just one additional no diamond that one being Ken Jot. Step four is going to be a rinse and repeat of step two. That one additional diamond, we want to make sure that we add to the squad instantly so we don't forget later on. Step number five is going to be the conquest map for the incognito program. And I want you to pay close attention to this conquest map because if you go into the goals, this one looks to be more worthwhile than the others because in goal number four, you will obtain an around the world pack one, which gives you the opportunity to pull that 99 overall Mike Trout. As always, we will have a guide for both the Conquest and the Showdown, so make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel as they will be dropping today. Once you have completed the Conquest map, you should have unlocked Kevin Kiermeyer as well as Tony Gonsolin, and because you are working on PXP missions not only for the Incognito Series program, but also for tops now, you should be unlocking more diamonds along the way as well. So whenever you unlock those diamonds, just go ahead and plug them instantly into your squad. That way you don't forget later on and you're always working towards completing any of these programs. Step number six are going to be the missions inside of the program. Whenever you tally 2,500 parallel XP with incognito series program players, meaning inside of this reward path, you will get five additional program points. You also have the extra base hits home runs innings pitch strikeouts as well as the player pxp missions for players inside of the program to complete in order to earn additional program points now completing the may tops now and incognito series are both very important because if you go towards the set to collection in terms of our unsellable route it's gonna push us all the way to 156 out of the 160 we need to obtain one of the three set two collection bosses. So we're almost there. By next Friday, we should be able to complete and get one of these three. To complete the rest of the missions, you have a ton of options available to you. You have this brand new Baltimore Oreo City Connect map, which we will also have a guide probably today as well. And you also have mini seasons where you can grind out Team Affinity 2 mini seasons in order to continue completing Team Affinity missions as well as the program in general and getting yourself additional unsellable cards. And if you don't want to grind any of that in always, you can go to play versus CPU. Inside of online modes, obviously you can take your squad into rank or you can go into the brand new event, which is now tailor made for the new program that just dropped as it allows incognito series players to join in with the Kaiju players as well as the NL and AL central players. Minimum overall is a 75 and the maximum team overall is going to be a 99 there is a rewind pack and then three more additional set two diamonds for you to obtain as well when it comes to the flash sale that's currently going on inside the show shop so if you don't know about it and you got the mobile app or you don't have the mobile app it might be a good time to download the mobile app and make some investments if possible and the only times you're gonna be able to make some good investments is whenever it is a pack that has a rare round and a base round those are usually the best 
investments. Right now we have this captain's pack that belongs to set one. So that's another thing that you need to keep in mind. If it belongs to set one, it means that even if you do want these cards, they most likely won't be available since you won't use them in the wild card slot within two months. So this set one captain's pack, look at this. If you wanted to get this Derek Jeter, and you wanted to buy him off of the community marketplace because generally the cards are a lot cheaper whenever there is a flash sale, you'd actually be spending a lot more stubs than if you just went and outright bought the pack for 15k stubs. So you always want to look at the player that you want first and see what he is selling for inside of the community marketplace and if it is close to whatever the price is inside of the flash sale, then you want to go ahead and buy it off of the flash sale if it is guaranteed that you will get that player. But whenever it is a pack that has a rare round, such as Alter Ego, then if the card is close to the pack price, then you would want to buy it off of the community marketplace because eventually it will rise back up once the flash sale leaves the community marketplace show shop. Alter Ego Pack 3 has arrived and we have ourselves Dr. Smooth Michael Brantley who has amazing contact and amazing clutch at left field, gold fielding animations, and then silver reaction. 55 speed is not the best in the world, but it will do. He only has breaking ball hitter as his quirk. So unfortunately, it is a good card based on attributes, but overall, probably not one that is going to be cracking your squad or worth 50,000 stubs to go ahead and give yourself a chance at. The conductor Chris Sale is also inside of Alter Ego Pack 3 rare round. 110 hit per 9, 125 pitching clutch. Both of those numbers are insane. Now Chris Sale does not have break outlier. He also doesn't have fastball outlier or any outlier whatsoever. He has no quirks. But Chris Sale, despite not having any quirks, will actually be a good squad card that you can add into your rotation because he is a lefty and we don't have a lot of great lefties not only that but Chris Sale also has a funky delivery which makes it difficult for hitters to read him at times last but not least inside of the rare round we have red turn two, Justin Turner who has great contact 116 clutch at third base gold fielding animations and silver fielding reactions and then at first second or shortstop it remains gold fielding animations and silver reactions as well in terms of the quirks he does have better quirks so if i were to recommend one of the two from the rear rounds if you wanted a hitter it would be justin turner rather than michael brand i'm in duels have also arrived we have ourselves robin young he has 125 clutch 111 contact versus right 125 versus left he has diamond fielding animations at short with gold reaction animations until you get into parallel two then it will be diamond reactions at short as well he can play the entire outfield as well with 81 speed and he does have a good amount of quirks as well so this is a good card i would go as far to say that it's also a decent card because you want to start thinking about cards that are going to replace those set one shortstops that we are currently using or outfielders or middle infielders or players in general the second one is casey mize nine 99 overall with 106 hit per 9, 104 pitching clutch. He has a four seam, a slider, a sinker, a splitter, and a curveball. Casey Mize has no quirks. Unlike Chris Sale, Casey Mize does not have a funky delivery. Casey Mize also doesn't have the velocity that Chris Sale does, so he won't be throwing anything 100 plus. So it's going to be very difficult for you to actually go ahead and use him at the higher difficulties, but he does have a great arsenal, and that should be helped when it comes to mixing and up pitches if you are able to do that well in terms of pitch tunneling and all of that if i had to choose one of the two diamonds if i had the offer i would take robin instead of casey mize anytime any day. In regards to the May Tops Now and Incognito Series cards that dropped today, I'm not going to go into detail of every single player because I'll be completely honest with you all, most of these cards are not going to be cracking your squad. Instead, these cards are going to be serving dust in order to help us unlock one of the set two collection bosses. Looking at the updated content schedule, as you all know, this second we are getting ourselves the next roster update with upgrades and downgrades of player attributes, and we're also going to be celebrating Lou Gehrig Day this 
second that's coming up. The seventh is when the May monthly awards program is going to drop, featuring the Lightning player for the month of May. And we are also getting a new event that's going to be tailor made for the monthly awards, tops now, and more players. If you ended up enjoying today's content, do me a solid. It would help me out tremendously. Don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell. If you check out the description, you will find the Twitch, Discord, social medias, and how to become a member. We stream every single day from 8 p.m. Eastern to 1 a.m. Eastern. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.